Hello and welcome back to my channel. Jacob here and I'm going to be talking about Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, Child of the Hunt. This is a really interesting book. Um, this is the first Buffy the Vampire Slayer book that I've read and it's written by Christopher Golden and Nancy Holder. Um, I do know that Christopher Golden has written a bunch of comic books and stuff like that and he gets also a horror novelist so that's one of the reasons I picked this up. Um, I usually don't read that many uh, movie or TV show tie-in novels especially when it's around series I really like because I have been disappointed before. Um, I will say that reading the Buffy books has definitely changed that for me because this was really really good especially if you're a fan of the show. Um, it definitely felt like it added, it basically felt like an additional episode, if that makes sense, which I think uh, is what a TV tie-in novel should feel like when you're reading it. So basically what happens is Buffy and the gang all find themselves at a mysterious renaissance fair where nothing is quite as it seems, um, and of course a renaissance fair that comes to Sunnydale is for sure gonna have something evil going on behind it. Um, I don't want to spoil this book for you because if you are a fan of the series, uh, I definitely think this is a book worth reading because it does definitely feel like an additional episode. I don't remember exactly what season this takes place between. Um, I do know that, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the series yet, that Miss Calendar is dead by the time they get to this book, and it actually deals pretty well with Giles grieving and gets into Giles' uh, mindset a bit and how he is handling the fallout of Miss Calendar's death, which I don't think, um, I mean, the show definitely talked about it and touched upon it, but I think this book does a very good job about how uh, Giles, explaining, I guess, how Giles deals with everything, you know, losing the woman he loves and then reconciling the fact that it was Angelus, not Angel, that actually killed her. Um, so that was really interesting. And you also get to see uh, different characters kind of take on different roles, um, which I really enjoyed. I liked kind of getting into the minds of the Scooby gang a bit. A bit while they try to figure out what was going on with the Renaissance Fair and the magic or dark magic that seemed to be surrounding it. Uh, now, the Renaissance Fair isn't the only thing that's come to town, and it's not even what the book is named for because, of course, they are facing two big bads in this, one being uh, whatever's going on in the Renaissance Fair and the other being the fact the Wild Hunt has apparently followed this Renaissance Fair to town and that uh, people, um, most notably teenagers, as it usually is in Sunnydale, are disappearing. And uh, I think some are even being found dead. So that's another thing for Buffy to look into. Um, what I thought was kind of interesting in this is that Joyce is actually the one in this book that's looking into the wild hunt and more or less brings it to Buffy's attention because she is worried um, that Buffy is somehow going to end up like one of these runaways because, you know, Buffy's a slayer. And I'm not sure, I don't quite remember if she's, um, if she knows that yet. Um, because if you are a fan of the show and you have seen the show, you do know that at some point Joyce does discover that Buffy is the slayer, even though she never seems to fully grasp what that means in the full concept of it. Um, yeah, I love this book. Uh, you get to see, uh, not really a spoiler alert because I've already said the wild hunt comes, but you do get to see Buffy spar off against the Huntsmen, very, um, Witcher style, if you're into that series at all. If you do like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I can't recommend getting this book enough. I think this is a great entry into the Buffy tie-in novels. Uh, there are some actual like trilogies and series within the Buffy tie-in novel universe, as well as uh, some angel novels, which I've picked up. I'm going to try to read as many of these as I can. Uh, like I said, this one was a lot of fun, so I'm hoping the others will be as well, as they all seem to kind of uh, take place in different seasons. 
And if you are currently in a Buffy rewatch or you're watching it for the first time, I would say look into uh, which season the novels take place in because they really do kind of feel like episodes. So do yourself a favor if you see this out and about or if I can find ebook versions, I will link that in uh, the show notes below. But yeah, definitely pick this up, read it, and uh, let me know how you feel about it or if there are any other Buffy tie-in novels that I should uh, be on the hunt for. Until next time, as always, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.